today we're gonna do an example question on using Learn's equation for calculating the voltage for a complete reaction. Okay, so let's look at this question. For this example question, you're given with a figure and give you um certain concentration for the the electrolytes, the solutions in the half cells. Okay, and then it's asking you to um you know write out the net cell reaction and say if it's spontaneous in forward re reverse reaction but all of this you have to start um start following the steps how to calculate the voltage for the whole cell and the steps are coming from here okay so the first step will be write reduction half reactions for both half cells okay so let's do that okay so step one okay so step one we're gonna do we're gonna write we're gonna write reduction reaction for both half reactions. Okay, so which means we all know you will have the oxidation half fraction on the left on the left cell. So this will be oxidation half and then on the right cell, it will be reduction half fraction. Okay, and then you go. Well, now what's going on again? As we explained during the class, again the values for the reduction um potential is all given. Okay, for all the for all the half fractions, and then I'll give it as as we said reduction potentials. Okay, so therefore, even though we know on the left side you have oxidation half, but after we write out oxidation half, we're gonna reverse it, turn into a reduction pattern, reduction format. Okay, so now let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna start to write. We're gonna start um from writing the right half cell first. Okay, so I'm gonna do the right half cell okay the red half cell again you know on this right half cell you have reduction half reaction happens okay so there's something to keep in mind again the other information you should know is for reduction half reaction what happens oxidation number decrease you have electrons as part of reactants and it happens on the it happens at the cathode. Okay, so all this information you should know. Again, in this case, you know you're looking for oxidation number uh, decrease. And over here, that's your electrode. Okay, and so that's what you have as your um uh as your um um for reduction half reaction. Okay, so now let's start to write. Okay, so now you have you have this reaction. So now you have a G. Cl, so that's a solid, okay. And then, as we said, we're gonna have electrons as uh, rectins, and then we don't know um how many yet, but let's put them, put down the major species on the in the equation, okay. So that's at least something we know we should have, and then the other things we know the oxidation number for silver is zero, and then for silver ion this uh, compound with positive one. So again, okay. So let's see, oxidation number from positive one to zero so oxidation number decrease that's reduction half that's perfect okay so in order for this to happen you need to gain one electron okay so you need to gain one electron so just gonna ignore that uh, one as the coefficient so i have i have electron okay and then you go mm, this is a solid and i have a solid over here and then this chloride i probably need to include in this reaction because it does also change in terms of states okay the color right now okay so now you have this reaction okay and then the reaction the e naught for this reaction is, if this is a question given during a class is e naught is always given for this half fraction okay so this e naught value this is going to be positive because this is a reduction half as the notation we talk about the value will be point two 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 volts okay so that just uh, for the first a half fraction. Now we're gonna write the left, the left half rack, uh, the left half cell. Okay, so oxidation happens over here. Okay, so we're gonna start out write out the oxidation half fraction. Okay, so the oxidation half fraction again will be similar uh dots right. So you have the um CD as your electrode. 
and then this is your electrolyte. Okay, so the reaction happens one will be on the left side, the other one on the product side. Okay, and then we know oxidation half, we're looking for oxidation number increase. Okay, and then we know from metal to uh, this metal go into a compound oxidation number will increase and lose electrons. So electrons will be part of the products. Okay, so based on all this information, we know we can start to write out the equations like this, right? So you can have CD, okay, solid, okay? And then you're gonna have turn into CD, and you can leave it as a whole compound. Again, in this case, since it's AQ, we know this, this um, CDNO3 is just gonna exist in solution as ion, okay? So we can write it as ion, okay? And then you have two electrons why right? because look it's from zero from zero to positive two right so in this you have oxidation number increase okay so that means this is oxidation half that's also good again in order for this to happen the cadmium will be losing two electrons okay so this is good again where are we the rule is telling us to do reduction reactions for half reaction so we're gonna reverse this okay so the real one we want will be reversing this reaction into a reduction half fraction as well okay so that's what we have okay so now we have the half the we have the half fractions now i'm gonna erase our working process okay so then you have what we really want it okay so this is what we really want okay so right over here okay so both of them are reduction half again in the format we want it okay and then the e naught value is always given as well so in this case e naught minus is negative 0.402 volts okay so all this value will be given during the exam okay so that's what we have and now again let's keep on reading the rules okay so the rule keep on saying that you can find the enough for each again we we'll already give it to you and then this is very important right multiply the half fractions as necessary so that they each contain the same number of electrons okay so now let's see for the first half reaction we have one electron for the second half we have two electrons so they don't have the equal number so what do we need to do we need to multiply two to the first reaction so we're making the number of electrons equal to each other okay so that's something very important for you to notice okay so that's something we did now they are officially what we want okay so that's the first step okay second step we're gonna calculate the i'm gonna use nurse equation to calculate the half cell okay so that's easy we can start from e plus okay so that be again E plus will be the right half fraction, and then we can apply Nernst equation. Will be E naught plus minus 0 0.05916 divided by n represents number of moles of electron log. Will be the products over reactants. Okay, so let's see what's the products. We are looking at our first reaction over here. So we're looking at this reaction. Okay. So this reaction, okay, so that will be happening at e, uh, e plus, okay, on the cathode, okay, so then the product will be Cl minus, and then you have nothing on the left side will be included in the balance equation. So, okay, so I will just do the concentration of chloride down. Is this the end? No, we have to pay attention to this to the superscript as this coefficient, okay, so you're going to raise to the power of two okay so now we're good now i just need to plug in the values because over here we have potassium chloride so the concentration of potassium chloride will also equal to the concentration of chloride now okay so now we can just plug in the values okay so in now plus which is given 0 0.222 volts number of electrons involved in this reaction is two moles so be 0 0.05916 log value that chloride ion concentration is 0.50 squared okay so now we can calculate this and i think after this calculation your e plus will equals to 0 0.240 volts okay so that's something you can calculate based on this question okay so now after this step we're gonna do similar calculation uh, based on the left half fraction okay so steps three okay so i'll just write over here so let's go up a little so 
Step three. Now we're gonna calculate e minus. Okay, so this will be e not minus minus n point zero five nine one six log. Okay, so let's look at our reaction. The reaction is gonna be what? This is our um the reduction half reaction for the oxidation half. I know it's a little you know confusing, but that's what that is. Okay, so then you're gonna use one over because you have none of the species will be included in the equilibrium constant in this equation and then on the left side you have rectin so that will be cd concentration okay okay so that's what we have and now we just need to look for the values from the previous so that will be negative 0.402 volts still two moles of electron 0 0.05916 log one over the concentration of cadmium will be 0 0.010 okay so you can finish off the calculation over here that will be negative 0.461 volts okay so the second value we got and so that's what we have for the updation half on the left side okay so now step four step four we'll just calculate step four is easy we're going to calculate for the whole cell okay so the whole cell the cell voltage will be E plus minus E minus. Okay, so we just put the values in will be 0 0.240 volts minus point minus a negative 0 0.461 volts it will be positive 0.701 volts. Okay, so that's the cell voltage for the whole cell. Okay, so for this question, okay, so if you just wanted to answer if this will be a spontaneous reaction, you could say yes because your E is positive and then that was give us a spontaneous reaction. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so that's we answer that part, but then we also want to do the excuse me, the night. So step five. Step five. Okay, so step five we're gonna do um the night cell reaction. Okay, so the night cell reaction. You can do it two way. One way you're gonna use do a subtraction. Okay, so you can use the right half cell minus the oxidation half cell, the left cell, the left cell. Okay, so you can use this one. Okay, so you can use the blue minus the a red you can do that okay so or you can reverse this oxidation half back to its original oxidation half format and just add them up again the goal is to get rid of the electrons and that equation won't have the electrons involved okay so but i'm gonna do the subtraction so you see how this goes now i use a blue which is the reduction half so i have this plus 2e then i have two silver plus 2 cl minus then i have subtraction okay so then i have 2e again the goal is to get rid of electrons and then by doing this we will be able to do it okay so when you do this you get rid of right you get rid of the electrons okay and then when you do subtraction what do we have we have we have this we have this then you're gonna have minus right oh, that does work okay um okay so that's what i have okay so that's what you have and then you can have the right side, you still do a subtraction, so you can have this one. And minus CD. So, okay, and then do you see negative sign in the balance equation? No. So how do you fix that? You're going to reverse. So you're going to put the negative portion on the other side. Okay, so then after we do that, we'll have plus cds so basically i put this piece on the left right okay and then i put this piece on the right okay so then i do that two silver solid and i have two cl minus okay so this will be after you um 
reorganize your equation. This will be your net equation. Okay, the other thing is, after you come up with your net cell reaction, you go, hmm, am I right? I'm, I'm not sure. But let's look at it. As we said, cadmium is what's going on with oxidation half. And then you can always, after you finalize your net equation, let's see if it will go through oxidation half. For oxidation half, what does that mean? The oxidation number is going to increase. And that happens. Okay, so that's good. That means we're doing a good job. And then for the reduction half, right? So this positive one is zero. That is reduction half. That's also good. So everything checks out and it's balanced. The charges are all good. Okay, so then you're successfully done with the net equation. So we've done that part. Okay, and then one more step I would like you to also know what to do is to draw that uh, the electrons flow. Okay, so then electrons flows towards positive potential. That's also something it's very nice to know. So you're gonna draw a line. It you know that. This is potential, right? It's potential in volts, okay? And then you're gonna label it, and in this case, we have that uh, uh, E minus equals to negative uh, 0.461, okay? So the negative, this was E negative equals to 0.461, okay? And then you also calculate the E positive was 0 0.240 okay so then you can also show me the electron flows that way okay so electrons you can tell me the electrons flow from cd to silver okay so that's something you can just give me and then just uh you know make the scales that will be good if not but roughly because we know that what that is and then that's also good okay so this will be the whole question how you're gonna solve it okay so um it's not it's not that bad it just need to you need to pay attention to the little details okay so uh, hopefully this is helpful thank you for watching